In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the cover four palms and how we can use this defense to really put the clamps down on the gun bunch in Madden 22. Now what's going on guys, my name is Cody and I just wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now this, Cover Four Palms defense is an excerpt of my Chicago Bears defensive guide. I think that this is one of the better coverages in the entire game, um, especially for how it defends things like trips sets. Now, the beauty of the Chicago playbook is we have the 245 odd. If you want to get my full 245 odd defensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to that in the description of this video. But what we're going to do with this is we're just going to put in like safeties at the linebacker position as you can see for the cardinals we could put isaiah simmons in but if you're in regs uh, or if you're in mutt and you want to get another safety in there we show in our defensive ebook exactly how you can go about doing that you can get safeties all across the field and basically leverage this formation as if it was the 335 uh, normal formation that you're automating into the 335 wide or in our case the uh the nickel 335 wheel uh the 335 wheel is one of my favorite formations in the game i think there's a lot that you can do with this and uh, we're going to dive into this in this video but like i said we're going to be talking about the cover four palms so we're going to come out in two four five odd and then we're just going to audible over into the cover four palms now uh, i'm going to back the ball up here and kind of give us a little bit more space and i want to talk about what you're going to see happen whenever you do this audible and some of the adjustments that it's going to allow you to create so if you look at two four five odd you're going to notice that these two guys are middle linebackers so when i audible in the cover four palms, you're gonna see here that we get this. This guy actually oftentimes will stay right here. Now, if I were to QB contain rush, what you're gonna see is he's still gonna be on that blitz angle. So what this allows me to do is maybe back him up or whatever, you see he's gonna come over here. The beauty is I can move him around. So for example, I could do something like this, and at the snap of the ball, what you could see is you might see some of that looping pressure that we really like. There's a lot of things that we can do with that guy, and he becomes kind of a hybrid player uh, for the defense. Now, when we audible into this cover four palms defense against Gun Bunch, and my piece of advice here, real simple, um, is we can actually just make this guy our user as well. So we could just pinch our D-line just like this, and then we could pinch our linebackers, and you can see that now we have this, basically this, this guy that we could user on. Um, another thing that we could do with this is let him go to the right side and then just grab onto the safety here, which is why I wanted to do this video on bunch because what we're going to do is uh, basically go through a really easy way to user out of cover four palms that is going to make this a very good bunch defense so if you think about what cover four palms does um, it's also called to read against different types of personnel different set situations but essentially what's going to happen is we're going to get a box check against gun bunch and essentially what that means is this guy's responsible for the first guy to the outside. This guy's responsible for the flat to the outside. So he's gonna go here, he's gonna go here, he's gonna go here, and then this guy is gonna kinda come in the three wreck and wall off into this. That's why I call it a box, because essentially we've got a four corners of a box to this defense. Now the problem becomes, um, in, in Bunch, some of the things that people can do with this is they can basically manipulate this this guy right here. Baker is the guy that most often gets manipulated out of the gun bunch. I'll give you a really easy example. I'm going to go to the play verticals. All I'm going to do is I'm going to put circle on a uh, corner route. I'm going to put X on a post, uh, or not a post, but a, um, a deep in, and then I'm going to streak R1. And what you should see is R1 should get over the top of this for a one play score. As you can see, he does. And this is basically the concept that can really put the uh, put some problems on this coverage. Now, the other thing that I want to go ahead and show you about uh, nickel 335 will is when you show blitz, you're going to see that this uh, safety comes down into this uh, positioning. Now, it's actually advantageous to us because this guy right here is now in the middle of the field. So when we go to put him on a deep half, he is now going to flow into this area of the field. So for example, let's say they go to verticals and they try to streak this R1 receiver right up the seam. You 
see that that deep path crosses right into his space and he's able to take that route away. Now, when we think about who we want to use her against Gun Bunge, in my personal opinion, the best player to use her is two, one of two players. Either A, this blitzing guy, or B, this guy right here. And the reason why is because we're, we're uh, match coverage sometimes gets a little bit glitchy, uh, in term, or where it gets, struggles a little bit is where, uh, or is whenever you have a crossing route from, from right to left out of bunch. So something like verticals, for example, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So what you're going to see is we're, Thompson is responsible to go guard him. Okay, that's his number one responsibility. But if we look at this, what you're going to notice is because of the way this works against crossing routes, here he actually plays it fairly good, partially because we showed blitz. But it's not a situation where, you know, he's going to be in a great position to be able to do this. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. So we're going to go to verticals. Now he's backed off, and you see how that crossing route can very easily just beat him and beat him and beat him and beat him. And the thing is, it's going to happen from pretty much any crossing route. So, for example, if I cross, if I if I have hot route master, and I put the tight end on a crossing route. Same thing's going to happen. Same thing's going to happen if it's Andy Isabella on the outside receiver. There's all these crossing routes. So that being said, this is where I really like uh, to play it like this, where I am going to essentially tell um, you know tell myself as a user anything that crosses the bunch. Anything that crosses the bunch is my responsibility. And I could take that out of Tom, as Thompson here, um, or I could take that as you know one of these guys, right? But I personally just am telling myself mentally at the snap, I'm going to deep half this guy, and then I'm going to do something like this where I can basically fake a user rush. There's all kinds of things that I could do with this guy. Fake user rush, come back, and I'm going to take this away. And as you see, we now have basically pretty much taken away the number one routing gun bunch this year, which is a post route or a crossing route to the R1 receiver. Now, let me show you something like this. This is a double post look, and I'll show you how this defense plays against double post. For the most part, it's actually going to play fairly decently. Um, as you're going to see here, I'm going to go to this guy, and then as you see, I can now work and go back to the post once I see that there's two post routes that I have to poach. So the beauty of this is essentially what we're going to do is we're going to man lock on the backside. So you could even do something as simple as this where you're, you're bringing this kind of coverage like into here. You know, you might do something like this and stand here this time. If you don't want to, if you don't want to show blitz, you don't have to. You could do something like this. And then, as you can see, you know, you put yourself in a really good position. Now, what we can do on the backside is we could man lock right there. So we could just man that guy up there. And then you could either put this guy in a curl flat or you could leave him in the zone that he's already in. That's fine as well as he's going to match, you know, pretty much anything to the left side. But then what you're going to see is let's say they run that double post concept on us. We're going to come to R1 and then we've got to work back to circle because we've taken that inside quarter out of his out of his coverage okay so that's just something that you have to pay attention to now let's say for example that they're you know the running gun bunch and let's say for example that they um you know they motion they motion this receiver to the outside and a lot of times what that basically you know really what that means is you know they're going to try to either get the r1 receiver up the vertical or they're going to try to get um, the R1 receiver to the corner. So they're going to do this motion right here and more than likely they're either going to put R1 on a corner or a vertical. Well, what I like to do at that point is that's where, you know, unless there's a crossing route, again, unless there's a crossing route, I'm going to poach, you know, pretty well over here to the right side. So that's where I'll actually leave, um, you know, this inside quarter zone and essentially come over here and work to the R1 receiver, right? The R1 receiver essentially becomes my responsibility. And the beauty of this is, let's say that you audibled into this from the 245 odd, and this is where it gets really cool, is you could do something like this, where you've got this coverage right here, and then you might say, well, I just saw them do this motion, right? So I wanna keep my user free. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna man up this uh, lineman that is a linebacker, right, and ultimately a safety. Now I'm going to put him in man coverage on that guy, 
And as you can see, the defense is going to play really, really well as a result. So this is a couple of key pointers for how you can use the 3 through 5 will uh, cover four palms in conjunction with everything else you're doing from the 2 4 5 odd and from the 3 through 5 wide and from all of those other formations. This is a way that we can incorporate palms coverage uh, into this, which is a really, really good coverage that I don't think a lot of people really understand. So anyways, that being said, if you want to learn more about palms, you want to learn more about match, or you want to learn more about just phenomenal coverage defenses, as well as great pressures, I would encourage you to pick up my 245 odd Chicago Bears defensive game plan. And guys, we are working right now under the hood on a nickel triple defense that you guys are absolutely going to love. A defense that is also going to be able to be combined with the 245 odd to create some crazy, crazy adjustments and crazy uh, pressure schemes for you. So, if you want to get the best blitzes in the game, I'd encourage you to get that 245 odd defensive guide. And again, stay tuned for that nickel triple coming to you guys later today. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you guys next time.